Sandbagger's Case Files, a look back at the best spy show you've never heard of. Burnside must make a tough call when forced to choose between friendship and the good of the service in today's episode, To Hell with Justice. Intelligence Director Edward Tyler surprises Burnside with the news that he's taking a few days holiday alone in Malta. Upon his arrival, Tyler is picked up by Len Shepard, the Valletta Station's number two, who shortly afterwards spots Tyler leaving the hotel with a beautiful woman that is most definitely not his wife. It's a serious breach of protocol, so serious in fact that Shepard flies to London to brief Burnside in person. Oh, he's not a mug. He knows that if he wants to have it off in Malta, we're not going to pass judgment. All he has to do is ask us to have her checked out, or prove that she's already been checked. What does your boss feel about it? Well, Bernie's okay. He'll go along with whatever you want to do. I don't know what I want to do. But I do know that Tyler's gone over it and make Philby look like Snow White. Burnside sends Willie and Mike to Malta to scope out the situation in person, but decides not to tell Peel or C about the developing situation until he can figure out what's really happening. Burnside tells Sir Geoffrey Wellingham that if his bosses found out, they'd order the sandbaggers to bring Tyler home, which would mean a public trial that would embarrass the service. Burnside tells Wellingham that if the sandbaggers determine Tyler is defecting, they will assassinate him and make it look like an accident so that no one will be the wiser. Unfortunately, Peel finds out that Burnside is up to something. Burnside has no choice but to take him into his confidence. What I'm saying is, if you can deal with it quietly, one way or another, I'll sign the return, that'll be an end of it. But if it goes wrong, this conversation never took place. Understood, sir. And even more unfortunately for Burnside, Peel is lousy at keeping a secret. Now the sandbaggers are to maintain their surveillance of Tyler until they know what he's doing. Then they are to intercept him and bring him back. And if he won't come? Then they may use whatever force is necessary to restrain him. We'll ship him home aboard a private aircraft, in a trunk if necessary. Back in Malta, Tyler seems to be in no hurry to board a plane to Moscow, if in fact that's what he's up to. While in London, Jeff Ross makes a peace offering to Burnside in order to let him know that the mysterious Maltese blonde is in fact a KGB agent. There's no longer any doubt. The sandbaggers will hit Tyler to death? No. I'm going to Malta this morning, unofficially. Why? Two reasons. The first is I can't ask the sandbaggers to put their careers on the line, so I'll send them home, do the job myself. Mike picks Burnside up at the airport, then goes to meet Tyler. It's the saddest walk and talk Burnside ever undertakes. The short version is that Tyler has been a double agent his whole career, and now he's too tired to continue. He asked Moscow to lift him, but then at the last moment left a clue for Len Shepard to find, and he's been hanging around Malta waiting for the SIS to assassinate him. But what he didn't anticipate was that his old friend Neil Burnside would be the one to do the deed, and Tyler just can't do that to him. I owe you more than that. Oh, come on, spit the damn thing out. I'll take you back to London. I'm too tired, Neil, much too tired. Now just walk away, and when you're at a safe distance from me, not to be connected with me. Goodbye, Neil. Thanks for making it easy. My last service to the SIS. Shaken by the events they've just gone through, Burnside and Kane have a heart-to-heart -heart by the hotel pool to try and sort it all out. When you consider that Tyler committed one basic sin 23 years ago. A lot of other sins since. Oh, I know. But it was the first one that put him on the treadmill. It took a cyanide capsule to get him off. Can't you swim? Don't tell me you brought your swimming friends with you. I'll travel and hope, as the actress said to the bishop. I hope you drown.
Burnside gets another timely reminder that loyalty can exact a heavy price. Spoiler alert. In the next episode, Mike Wallace risks another trip behind Soviet lines, this time to rescue an injured CIA agent, while Burnside flirts with danger on a trip to the Island of Rhodes. That's next time on The Sandbaggers Case Files.